absolutely crazy day again. Here we are on September 15th, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening at this point. And um, crazy news, if you haven't heard already, probably have, uh, that we have a second assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. And I wanted to put some context around this. So I had, I've done some videos recently, some political videos explaining about the currency war and that currency is really what's going on, the real fight behind the scenes. Now, if you back up, I believe it was two days ago, um, there was um, a senator that talked about how the Senate report about the first assassination attempt was about to come out, that it was going to be extremely shocking, extremely damning, uh, that it was really going to reveal some, some incredible things that had been covered up and hidden about the first assassination attempt. And uh, people were already bracing for that. So we already had uh, in the news something coming down the pike and boom, here we go with a second uh, attempt. Ah, again, they're already slowing down my connection speed. Fascinating. Every time, every time you talk political, my internet gets down, down throttled wild. Um, I'll keep going. We'll see how this goes. So, so they were supposed to already release a Senate report about the first attempted assassination from July 13th, which has been kind of, uh, ignored, you know, by the mainstream media. I mean, even during, you think about it during the debate. So just the reality here of the fact that they, they didn't even bring it up at the debate. The candidate himself had to bring up the fact that he got shot in the ear back two months ago. And it's not even brought up. They don't even, they don't even talk to the other candidate to say, you know, as the political candidate running against Donald Trump, do you have any thoughts on on the political violence and the rhetoric and what level it's gotten to? No, they they totally ignore this. So he has to bring it up. Well, I just find it fascinating the timing, and I haven't seen anybody else point this out yet. But Trump, a few days ago, he put out a little video on X, and he mentioned on formerly Twitter, uh, he mentioned that he was going to go live tomorrow night, September 16th at 8 p.m. Eastern to talk about World Liberty Financial and that World Liberty Financial would be the replacement of all the old banks and their systems. Now, guys, I've been talking about this and people haven't been piecing it together, but I've been talking about this for months, dripping out this, this thing and he's getting more and more bold with it. Over the weekend, he said that if you work overtime, we're no longer going to tax you on your overtime hours. He's also said he's not, he's going to remove tax on, uh, social security checks. He's going to remove tax on tips. He's going to remove federal income tax. See, this, this is, he's dripping it out. Drip, 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 drip. He's removing this tax, this tax, this tax, this tax. He's going to move everything over to tariffs. And the future being crypto, we're going to move into the crypto space. And if you are not familiar and you don't understand crypto, you have got to get caught up. This is so important because we really, we have two worlds at war. If you go back to March of 2020, George Soros at the World Economic Forum, he talked about now is the time to move into the Great Reset to basically annihilate our currency in the US economy to destroy it and then to bring in after him, to bring in after our current currency, to bring in the central bank digital currency. Now, what we don't seem to understand, and, and this has been talked about for the last several years, the central bank digital currency is connected to a social credit score. They already have this in China. They already have this in other uh, abusive, tyrannical governments around the world. And so, for example, let's say that uh, if you were to speak out against the government in your country, in China, they could just dock you and say, oh, you're now no longer allowed to ride on the subway train and you show up at the gate and the 
facial recognition scanner scans you. This is real. I'm not talking about the future. This is current reality in China. You show up at the gate of the subway and you get your facial recognition scans you and says, nope, you're not allowed to ride on the subway. And they lock you down and they punish you through the social credit score. The same kind of thing can happen if you put everybody into a central bank digital currency, where now uh, the reality here is that the central bank, uh, which is this, this whole entity that can literally say, hey, uh, no, you already bought 16 ounces of steak last week. You've reached your carbon tax credit limit. You're out. You can't buy another steak this week. Go buy some yogurt, something else. You have the freedom to. They literally control your money. They can take your car, your, your electric car, and turn the switch off from wherever the remotely they want to control you. This is the tyranny that we're facing from this new world order, Illuminati, one world government structure. They already sample tested it on us in 2020. And a lot of people went along and 35 million people have died because of the injections and the jabs that they gave us. And we've been moving forward down this track and, and we're at a war between absolute tyranny. I mean, I, I don't even say, oh, you know, it's a war between Kamala and, and Trump. Kamala is just the puppet that they've put on this week. They've, they've had Biden the puppet on there for however long. Now Kamala's the new puppet. It has nothing to do with her. She's, she is a marionette puppet on strings and it has nothing to do with her. She's just the puppet of the week. When in reality, we're at war between two systems here. And this system of absolute tyranny, absolute control, central bank digital currencies, this is one system. And Trump comes out on, he comes out on the, the, I'm going to make an announcement of Monday night, September 16th, world liberty financial being released. So, you know, you have these two realities here of going off this cliff of control. Now, this is what the opposite of the kingdom. It's the total opposite is the demonic, the satanic is about total control. Thomas Jefferson said that rebellion to tyranny is obedience to God. Rebellion to tyranny is obedience to God. See where the presence of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is supposed to be freedom. And this is the nature of the kingdom. So we have two kingdoms here. We have a crypto op opportunity where people would be free. They'd be free of government control. Or we have on the other side, we have the, the absolute tyranny of what the demonic realm is trying to do through this side of the government and governments around the world. This is the context in which why are they showing up? going after Trump, going after Trump, going after him in every single way. Well, even to try to shoot him again, it's wild because Time Magazine four days ago put out a picture on their cover of Trump in a golf cart going down a hill into like a sand pit. Uh, and, and it says Trump in trouble. And here today, he's out on his golf course, hole number five, he's going to putt at the putting green. And the way that they do this, they send a Secret Service agent ahead of each hole to check the area. Secret Service agent sees in the bushes near the hole, a rifle barrel, and he begins to open fire. And this man takes off. They get over there and they find an AK-47 on the other side of the chain link fence with two backpacks hung on the chain link fence with bulletproof plates in those backpacks. So he had set up a little shooting nest and had a GoPro camera so he could actually film. He's going to shoot and assassinate the president. Now, who's this man? They've, they've announced his name now. He's a massive supporter of Ukraine. He's a financial supporter of the Democrat Party. Total lunatic, of course. This, this person is demonically influenced to try to kill someone. So in this situation, what is happening? Well, 
it's, it's never just one person. There's always people behind the scenes that are involved in these kinds of things. And why is this happening? Well, this is the day before Trump's going to get up and talk about the financial shift away from the old world bank system and move us toward this opening of the future. See, this is the real, the real fight behind the scenes. It's not just simply, you know, about the border and immigration or the children or all of that. Now, overall, I, I, I really, I'm, I have a hard time with the fact that there's so few ministries that are willing to talk about this stuff boldly. Because at the end of the day, there, there's people who are still stuck on, oh, well, Trump, he used to be a womanizer. Okay, but here we have a man who has been faithfully with Melania, raising Baron, having this for the last 20 plus years track record. And we have that and we have incredible fruit of his life, his, his children, his family, his grandchildren. We have, we have this. Uh, was he a womanizer in the past? Yes, absolutely. Was he a billionaire? you know, philanderer and all that. Sure. I, I can, I can see that. Yet we also had four years of experiencing him before. We've also seen his heart turn even more toward the Lord since he survived miraculously the assassination attempt on July 13th. Uh, and we're not looking for him to be the pastor of America. We're looking for him to win this second revolution against the global tyranny that's trying to sweep in demonically through the other side. See this, people say, well, you know, it's just it, elections don't really matter. And it's just a little bit different. And you're basically two wings of the same bird. Not at all. In the past, that may have been true. That kind of nonsense is not true in this situation. It's literally like the devil versus Jesus. And I'm not talking about Kamala as the devil. I'm talking about the entire agenda of the entire demonic side of what's being tried to be forced on us. If you're not aware of this, like the Department of Homeland Security released this week that they have lost 325,000 children in the last three years. Put that in context. That, that is, that is over three football stadiums of the largest size filled with children. And where are those children? Those children are dead. Those children are, are in work slavery or those children are in sex slavery. We're talking about human trafficking that is so brutal, so horrendous at such a scale. And if you're not awake to this, if you're not paying attention to, to what has been happening, um, I, I just, I, there's people who are, they're so focused on like, he used to be mean, or he said some mean tweets, or he, uh, he, he used to be a womanizer. I'm like 325,000 children, the, the 25 million illegal immigrants that have come across the border, mostly military aged males without wives, without children, filling our country in creating incredible rise in crime, murder, rape. I have three young daughters. I have three young daughters. This is not the future I want them to live in. This is not the dystopian hellscape that I want them to be raised in. If, if you're too cowardly of a pastor or a leader to inform your people, I, I don't even know what to say to you. I it just, it, it's unbelievable that we're not talking about this, that we're just kind of like playing church. Oh my gosh. I, I, I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of this. We need to be talking about this. Wake the hell up. It is time to be paying attention to the fact that, that we're deciding between heaven and hell. Literally, do you want more rape, more murder, more fentanyl, more illegals taking money, raising inflation through the roof? Do you want everything to cost even more? Do you want to not be able to feed your families? Then go do that. Go vote for that, you psychopath. Or are you a Christian? 
And there's people who, who are so stuck in like, I vote blue no matter who. I, my generations have always voted this way and I'm, I'm a black person or I'm a woman or I'm a whatever, so I'm going to vote for it. Get your head on straight. This is like voting for the devil and all of his agenda. Not Kamala. Like I said, she's just the puppet. But this whole thing versus what God is trying to release in this earth that will break us free from the tax system, from the financial corruption system, from this massive, tyrannical, abusive government we've been living under. These are two brutally different paths. And this is the most important, and I know everybody says it, the most important election of your lifetime. No, no, no. This one is a matter of life and death. Life and death at this point. This is not simply, who, who are you voting for? No, like, hey, are you trying to kill the future? Or do, you want the, do you want the president who wants to chop your son's penis off? Do you want the, the president that wants to remove the breasts of your daughter and confuse them all about their gender and make them no longer able to reproduce? Is that the future you want for your children? Because I, 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 you can be a Christian and believe horrendous, stupid, evil stuff. We've seen it for years. So I wouldn't say, oh, you're not a Christian if you vote this way. I would say you're a Christian and you're an idiot. You're a brainwashed idiot. And I, I don't know how else to say that, but that, that's really what it boils down to. It's not, you're not a Christian. It's you, you are trapped and brainwashed by this system. And this is what we've got to break out of. This is what we've got to wake up from. If you don't like what I'm saying, you can always leave an ugly comment that helps my algorithm. That's fantastic. I appreciate it. You're really helping out. If you do like what I'm saying, you can leave a lovely comment, whatever. It's all cool. But I, I just, this whole context that I don't think people have caught the timing on this is that what he's about to talk about tomorrow night is the crux of the issue. It is the thing that will break the back of the demonic empire that has been working us over for the last 60 years. See, we've been at war with this thing since they put a bullet in JFK's head in 1963. That's when World War III began. And we've been at war with this thing ever since. But we're coming to a close on this and either either it's going this way or it's going this way and it's going to be dramatic the differences between these two options and this thing is not over on november 5th we had a turning we will hit a turning point on november 5th i believe he'll win in a landslide if we get off our butts and do what we're supposed to do and get out and vote but at the same time I think they're going to fight. They're going to fight so hard against this. Um, Senator Jamie Raskin already said, you know, we're not going to certify the vote and we're going to have a civil war in this country. The 75 days from November 5th until January 20th, I, I can't even imagine the craziness of what they're going to pull with cyber attacks and power outages and civil war stuff and rioting in the streets. I, I, honestly, I, I hope you're prepared. I hope you've gotten your house in order and you've done what you need to do to be prepared. What does that look like? Have water on hand. They've already told us the World Economic Forum through Klaus Schwab has said attacking the, the cyber systems would actually shut down water production, water plants and filtration systems. So have water, It be plant prepared. You don't know what's gonna happen. It could be a hurricane, it could be something else. Have water. Um, Whatever else you need to do for protection, for safety, for food, to take care of your family, be responsible, wake up. This is not, I'm, I'm this guy, I'm raptureless. I'm the guy who wrote this. I have an optimistic view of the end times. I'm not saying we're in the last days. I'm not saying, hey, you know, any second we're gonna get raptured out of here, I'm saying, hey, there's 2,000 years of history, and if you pay attention to it, evil people take over sometimes, and they cause horrible things for years until good people rise up and do something about it. 
And a lot of us are still sleepwalking right now and we need to be prepared. So get prepared, be prepared. If the partial preterist with an optimistic view is telling you to get ready, you should probably pay attention. Please pay attention. Please pay attention. All right, that's it. I think I'm done ranting for the day. Thank you for watching. Um, share, help me out here. Get this around because the algorithms hate me nowadays. It's fantastic. Apparently, I must be doing something of value. So share this, get it around. Thank you so much. Bye.